Welcome to the Southern States Wrestling Power Half Hour. I'm your host, Dakota Booth. If you missed last week's program and or the New Year special, both are on our YouTube site. You can follow this link right here. Go to this site and catch up on every SSW Power Half Hour episode to date. Right now, let's start off this week with a look at Jake Booth taking on the tough veteran, J.D. Hogg. Oh, matchups underway. Bell didn't even get wrong as JD Hogg moving right in on Jake Booth here in this contest with Southern States Wrestling fans. We're glad you're tuned in, turned on, and checking out the action of Southern States Wrestling, no matter how you may be joining us. As JD Hogg here coming out, ready for a fight right here, as you better be when you roll into Southern States Wrestling. And he is taking it right to Jake Booth here. JD Hogg, of course. Very well established veteran in the wrestling world. No question about that, double tough. And he is taking it to Jake here in the opening moments of this contest here with Southern States wrestling fans as uh, JD just winding up on that arm, applying a ton of pressure as uh, Jake let the proverbial cat out of the bag, if you will, when he revealed to the world he was having trouble with that shoulder. As uh, his uncle Bo James pointed out, he should have kept that one under wraps. He didn't need to make, make that public knowledge. And J.D. Sullivan, of course, knows that. And that's why he is focusing his attack on the head, neck, and shoulder area of Jake Booth at this point in time in the matchup. He knows he's injured. He knows he's got a weakness. And he is moving in and staying focused right on the upper body of Jake Booth. Snapmare takeover right there. J.D. Hogg with a kick right to the shoulder as J.D., he is already focused squarely on that shoulder of Jake Booth. A big clubbing axe handle blow right there. He is staying focused on Jake's shoulder, and this is going to be a, a, a tough, tough match for Jake here because of the fact that J.D.'s aware of it and he's taking advantage of it. Jake's got him rolled up, though. Oh, wow. Just that fast. Just that fast, Jake Booth, he got the victory right there. Wow, Jake might have got the victory right there, but he paid the price for it as that shoulder is hurt. On last week's program, Jake Booth told everybody about his injured shoulder and our uncle told him that everybody would be gunning after it and right there you saw some first-hand evidence of that. But be sure to stay tuned because you don't want to miss some shocking events that are coming up later in this program. Calvary Baptist Church, 1238 Pine Street, Kingsport, Tennessee. Regular schedule of services, Sunday, 9.15 a.m. for Bible study fellowship class for all ages. 10.30 a.m. worship, 6 p.m. blast for children, wake for youth, Sunday night life for adults, Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. children and youth activities, 3D Bible study for adults. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Don't miss this. Southern States Wrestling presents the Winter Heat Wave, Friday night, January 23rd, 2015. 
Bell time, 8 o'clock, inside the Kingsport Farmer's Market. It's championship night. The Southern States Television Champion will challenge the Southern States Heavyweight Champion. New Tag Team Champions will be crowned in a one-night, winner-takes-all tournament featuring the Washington Bullets, Florida Tag Team Champions, the Dirty Blondes, Niagara Region Tag Team Champions, the T-Rex Express, and more teams to be announced right here next week. It's the Winter Heat Wave, Friday, January 23rd, 8 p.m., Kingsport Farmer's Market. Don't miss it. Be there. Welcome back to the Southern States Wrestling Power Half Hour. I am your host, Dakota Booth, and during that break, you saw how to bring Southern States Wrestling to your town. Right now, we can confirm that Southern States Wrestling will be returning to the state of Virginia in the new year. So nonprofits in Virginia start getting a hold of us now. We already have two big events lined up in Scott County for the new year. But right now, let's get back to the action, back to last week, and we'll see what happened in the title match between DeAndre Jackson and Frank Parker. Let's throw it right to the action now. Right hand, and another haymaker right there. All 300 plus pounds of weight behind those shots, you can guarantee you that. Frank Parker moving back in on the champion, takes him now, Irish whip, oh, he reversed it in here in the near buckle. But Parker crumbles to the canvas in pain. Obviously that arm is not right. And you can see the frustration on Parker now. As much as he wants to get back to his feet, as much as he wants to inflict some more punishment on DeAndre Jackson, that arm is holding him back. From what the doctors reports, from what I understand, the arm was broken on two places. And Parker with a big forearm right there across the back and shoulder area, DeAndre Jackson. Parker again, his best offense is that right arm, throwing it like a forearm. DeAndre down in the corner here. Valiant right on top of the action. Frank Parker, blatant chokehold. He's at that foot right across the throat here. Valiant breaking it up. Reminding Frank of the rules once again here. Valiant taking a moment right there to point out to me that his arm is just not right. It's just, it's pretty much quit on him. Frank Parker, that left arm, virtually useless at this point in time. And that just goes to show you, Valiant's calling this thing right down the middle. He's not taking any sides in the match whatsoever. Though he and Frank Parker have a long and storied history. There's no question about that. Valiant calling this match very fairly. That's why he was assigned to the contest by the championship committee because we knew that he would call the match fairly. Parker again, he can hardly mount any offense and he just put that arm across the top turnbuckle. DeAndre now in a cross arm bar and this could do it right here. This could do it right here. Frank maybe needs to tap out. He may need to go ahead and tap out before he sustains some serious permanent injuries here as Valiant's in there checking. Valiant may call the match on his own. This is at the referee's discretion. If Valiant feels as though he needs to call the match, he can do so. Parker, he's holding on, but DeAndre is wrenching back. Frank Parker really needs to think about his career in the long-term picture here. It may be worth it to lose the title tonight to be able to fight again another day. And that's it. The referee, Valiant's called the match. Valiant's called the match. Your winner of the contest. A very, very wild turn of events there at the end of that match. I caught up with Joe Wheeler who talked to Jimmy Valiant after the match as to why he stopped the match. And Jimmy Valiant said that he stepped in in fear of a long lasting injury to Frank Parker. Now, personally, I wish he just would have let the match go on and, and hopefully Frank Parker would have had a lasting injury, but that, that's kind of beside the point. Uh, but needless to say, very, very crazy things going on last week that we're catching you up on right now. But don't go away because we have even more shocking events coming up after this break. If you are part of a nonprofit organization, listen to this. 
You now have the opportunity to bring the wrestling TV stars to your town and make money for your group. Over the past two decades, Southern States Wrestling has helped raise money for church groups, schools, ball teams, volunteer fire departments, children's hospitals, Ronald McDonald House, scout troops, and many more. Our staff is waiting to hear from you and get started on what could be your biggest fundraiser to date. Southern States Wrestling and your group are the perfect tag team to raise the funds you need. Attention Mountain Empire. Do you have a business, website, products, or an event to promote? Let us help you reach the masses with TV and internet ads. For just a few dollars a week, we offer commercial spots on Southern States Wrestling, reaching over 150,000 homes in the Mountain Empire and the world with YouTube. Don't wait. Jump on this opportunity now to reach a large audience for an affordable price. Email sswking at aol.com for all the info. Advertising packages you cannot afford to pass up. Don't miss this. Southern States Wrestling presents the Winter Heat Wave, Friday night. January 23rd, 2015. Bell time, 8 o'clock. Inside the Kingsport Farmers Market. It's championship night. The Southern States Television Champion will challenge the Southern States Heavyweight Champion. New Tag Team Champions will be crowned in a one night, winner takes all tournament featuring the Washington Bullets, Florida Tag Team Champions, the Dirty Blondes, Niagara Region Tag Team Champions, the T-Rex Express, and more teams to be announced right here next week. It's the Winter Heat Wave, Friday, January 23rd, 8 p.m., Kingsport Farmers Market. Don't miss it. Be there. Welcome back to the Southern States Wrestling Power Half Hour. Uh, we were originally scheduled to show you all what happened last week at the street fight, uh, but due to what happened during the television title match, we're going to bump that forward to this week and show you the street fight next week. Uh, there's some very crazy things that happened during this match. Uh, Bo James won the coin toss to be able to sit on the floor. Uh, earlier in the night, Jake Booth had his shoulder re-injured uh, in, in another match, and now he's taking on Scott Sterling, who we presume will go right after that shoulder. So let's throw it right to the action and see exactly what went down during this television title match. And you can see, again, stay in focus right on that shoulder. Scott Sterling is, he, he's a shark in the water, man. He smells the blood. He's going to go right after it. There's no two ways about it. Jake's earned this shot. Sure he has. But he didn't have to cash it in tonight. We could have revised the contracts. Jake's chosen to go this route. He's, he's hurt. He's so, so hurt he was about to fall down right there. I mean, you got to give the kid credit. He's, he wants to try to give it everything he's got, but there also comes a point in time that you must realize you got to back away so you can fight another day. Scott Sterling continues his focus on the head, neck, and shoulder area. Jake Booth. Scott Sterling just ripped off some of the tape and padding that Jake had on that shoulder. And now Sterling going to focus on that arm. Scott Sterling winding up on that arm. He's basically using a spinning toe hold on the arm. I'm not sure what else to call that other than what it appears. As he is focusing now, stepping over. Bo James up, talking to Jake. I know Jake doesn't want to give it up. I know he doesn't want to throw the towel in, as they say. Bo James now. Checking on his nephew. Oh, and you can see Jake's in trouble here. There's no question about it. Above and beyond what we've seen on television in the past couple of weeks, Bo is trying his best to coach Jake on in this matchup. He wants to see him do well. He, don't, he definitely doesn't want to see him get injured any worse than he already is. No question about that. Bo's telling him to dig deep, dig deep. Jake now 
backpedaling, moving around, trying to stay away from, from Scott Sterling as much as possible. Sterling just bulls him back into the corner now, opens up, and again with a hard right hand. He's mugging him in that corner. Scott Sterling now going right back in. He's got that arm wrapped up around that top rope and the referee's trying to break it up, but he's got a five count to do the damage and a lot of damage could be done in those five seconds. Scott Sterling with an elbow right to the shoulder. And again, I didn't ask for this. Scott Sterling telling me that I asked for it. I didn't ask for this situation. The championship committee deemed this matchup. Yes, I'm a member of the championship committee, but it was not nearly all my decision by any means. Jake Booth now, fire it up. Jake Booth, hard right hand there. Jake Booth with another hard right. Jake's laying in with all he's got now. It's got Sterling is stand, stunned and staggered in the corner, but only for a moment. Comes back with a clubbing blow right to the back of the head of Jake Booth. Bo James takes his seat back at ringside. Scott Sterling now brings Jake over, puts the arm out, oh, and just stomps right on that shoulder. And again, Scott Sterling keeping his focus on that shoulder. You can almost see the ligaments tearing as his arm wrenches back even more. Scott Sterling staying focused squarely on that arm. Not a surprise at all. Excellent strategy. No question, the strategy is very, very sound. Sterling now brings Jake up. Got him in the corner. And again, just pounding on that arm. Pounding on that shoulder. Bo James right there just trips Scott Sterling up. Bo's got the foot. He's got him. He could do it. And he did. Oh, my. Jake Booth just captured a pinfall victory over Scott Sterling. Jake has a pinfall over Scott Sterling. Now Jake needs a pinfall over Bo James. Oh, Bo James rolled him up. And Bo, Bo just got a pinfall over Scott Sterling as well. So Scott Sterling has been eliminated. And there you saw, just as we expected, Scott Sterling try to go after Jake Booth's shoulder, but with some help from our uncle, Jake Booth was able to defeat Scott Sterling. Uh, and right after that, Bo James rolled in, Scott Sterling was quickly eliminated, and then it came down to Jake Booth against Bo James for that television title. Uh, my uncle compassionately gave my brother every chance in the world to get out of the match uh, to, to hopefully not further injure that shoulder. Uh, and my brother being as hard-headed as he is just did you know what let's just let you uh, take a look at what happened what unfolded during the rest of that match let's throw it right to the ring now Bo James here telling Jake to lay down let him cover him let him win the TV title and they can call it a night. Jake's not wanting to do that. Jake's wanting to win the title. He's gone this far. He's earned the shot. He's gone this deep into it. He, he got a pinfall on Sterling. Jake's saying he's earned this position. He doesn't want to give it up.
Well, James just said if he's not, if Jake's not going to lay down for him, that he'll lay down for him, so he can win this match and end this thing. So Bo's now laid down. Jake's coming over. Jake's a little tentative. Some of the fans here at ringside are, are saying don't trust him. We're going to find out here. Jake's rolling in. Oh, wait a minute! Bo got him! Bo got him! He's got the arm! Oh no! Bo's gonna teach him one way or another, I guess. He's got the arm and, and Jake's tapped out. Jake's tapped out. But what damage has been done here? That could have broke his arm or separated the shoulder completely. There you have your new television champion, Bo James. But at what expense has this cost Jake? Look at the pain as Jake's writhing in pain here. And now Scott Sterling's come out to pick the bones. Are you kidding me? And Bo James is walking out of the arena. Bo James is leaving the arena. Bo James is seeing what's happening here. He stopped at the dressing room door and he sees what's happening, but he's not coming back to the ring. Frank Parker and Scott Sterling both now. As Bo James stands in the corner and watches this. Frank Parker, Frank Parker is trying to reason with Scott Sterling. He's trying to reason with him. Jake's been injured bad enough at this point in time. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Oh, and Frank Parker! Frank Parker right there! Frank Parker just nailed Scott Sterling. Frank Parker showing some compassion after his arm. has been injured at Bo James! Just now, Frank Parker's injured arm. What in the world? Bo James holds the TV title high as he exits the area. Scott Sterling and Frank Parker have had issues. As much as I hate to say it, as so as Bo and Scott Sterling were working together at the end there. Unbelievable. I can't believe what's unfolded here in Southern States Wrestling. Scott Sterling now standing over Frank Parker. Frank Parker with his injured arm. Jake with his busted shoulder. So many questions. Absolutely unbelievable. As Bo James snatched Jake into that arm bar, captured the television title, Frank Parker actually showed compassion and it cost him. Incredible. And there you saw it. There is a new television title holder in town, and his name is Bo James. After the match, Joe Wheeler caught up with both Bo James and Scott Sterling separately, of course. So let's throw it to those right now. I told him to keep his mouth shut. He didn't listen to me. I told him to get out of the match. He didn't listen to me. During the match, he got injured. I said, lay down and let's make this easy. Because if you push me, something's going to happen. And that's exactly what happened. He's stubborn. He's hard-headed, just like his uncle standing right here. Now then, let's talk about what brought me some great enjoyment because that did not bring me any enjoyment. I did not like inflicting pain on my own family member. But winning this belt right here, and this belt, I got to say, Scott Sterling went out and had this belt made himself because he thought he was going to keep this championship forever. Here I stand holding his belt. Here I stand the television champion. And here I stand coming to Winter Heat Wave. The man is the number one contender for DeAndre Jackson in the Southern States title. 2014, worst year of my life. Back surgery, laid up for months. Wondering, would I ever get back in the ring? Would I ever be able to do it again? Here I stand, a champion. Now some people are upset about how I got this belt. Some people are upset about things that happen. Every family has arguments, every family has discussions, and sometimes it gets heated. Jake Booth, one of my jobs as your mentor in this profession is to teach you never trust anybody. One of my jobs in life as your uncle is to make you as tough as you possibly can be. 
and he left here a little battered, a little bruised, but he's a whole lot tougher because he showed everybody. He gained Scott Sterling's respect because he never quit. He kept fighting. And he also knew if he didn't tap out when I had him, I was going to pull the shoulder out just to prove a point. Jake Booth, you want the belt. I know you do, but I'm sorry. It's here. It's with the king of king sport, the number one man, the number one contender for you, DeAndre Jackson. Now, I want to say this. Tag team championship night that night. The winner, Heat Wave, they're going to crown new champions. Jake Booth and myself were supposed to be in there. I have removed myself. Jake can go find another partner because I'm the television champion. I'm coming for you, DeAndre Jackson. And if I'm going to do that to my own family, imagine what I'm going to do to you. There you have it from television champion, Bo James. At the conclusion of the round robin match for the television championship, Scott Sterling, I had to be one of the most confused people in the building along with you and there was a lot of confusion going on there and that's why I'm here with you right now is I want to try to clear things up to some degree, see where some alliances stand and where some maybe newfound friendships have been formed. Um, a lot happened there, Scott. Can you sort it out for us from your perspective? Joe, you're confused. Scott Sterling's confused. The whole Southern States is confused. Joe, you know I was in that match. You saw me dominate the whole night. You saw me defeat Jake Booth. I know you did. I beat that boy from pillar to post. And somehow, somehow, he gets on top of me and gets the one, two, three. Next thing you know, I'm getting pinned again. I'm not the champion. Then you got Frank Parker coming out there after I've been trying to talk to him for weeks, trying to talk to him for a long time. He finally comes out, says, Scott Sterling, that's enough. You've beat the kid enough. Well, you know what, Frank Parker? Not only did you get your stinking arm broke, Bo James broke your spirit. Bo James ripped your guts out. I cannot, I can't believe it, Joe. We've been friends forever. And then Frank Parker comes out, tells me, back off. You've done enough. Leave the kid alone. Well, I haven't done enough. I'm sick of this crap. Joe, you're behind all this. Oh, I... Southern States Championship Committee's behind all this, trying to keep me down. I don't know who's friends anymore, but I know one thing. Scott Sterling in 2015 is looking out for himself. Scott Sterling is coming after every title there is. Scott Sterling is a straw that stirs the drink. There you hear it from a very upset Scott Sterling. There you saw just how wild the end of the television title match was. Earlier in the program, you heard from Bo James and Scott Sterling. Next week, Joe Wheeler is going to pick the brain of Frank Parker and find out what was going through his mind at the end of that match. Also on next week's program, we're going to give you some information on the winter heat wave coming your way, Kingsport, Tennessee, at the Farmer's Market on January 23rd. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook at these handles right here to keep up with all the events happening at Southern States Wrestling. And Happy New Year.